For months, students at Maine Maritime Academy have been preparing and performing maintenance on the training ship State of Maine. All their hard work is coming to fruition today as they head out to sea. Alyssa Thurlow has more from Castine. Very proud, very excited, a little nervous. It was an emotional Wednesday morning for families and friends of Maine Maritime Academy cadets boarding the state of Maine for a voyage which will last more than two months. Deborah Swinborn and her family made the trip from Cape Elizabeth as they said goodbye to her son, Owen. This will be his first cruise. This was me about 50 years ago on the docks in Norfolk, Virginia, sending my father off when he was deployed. So my father is here. He's a naval veteran and he's on his way down now. He has another um, nephew who's in the Army. So he's a very proud grandfather. The state of Maine will visit eight domestic and foreign ports before returning to Castine on July 19th. I am super excited. I've never been to like Europe or anything. We're going to the Azores, Spain, Germany, um, Northern Ireland too. Rebecca Karen of Naples is one of the 211 cadets on board. For about half of the cadets, this is their first seagoing experience. All of them are ready to take what they have learned in the classroom and apply it at sea. This is where they learn how to solve problems together. This is the foundation of what we call Maine's Leadership College. Among those instructing on this cruise is Maine Maritime Academy graduate Robert Carter. He was aboard the state of Maine's first tour as a student in 1997. All my good friends who I still talk to 26 years later are ones that I made here during my freshman cruise. So it's really about uh, you're making friends, uh, making good shipmates, and really being safe together. She's ready and she's ready to help some of the freshmen and the younger students show what she knows. <laughs> Alyssa Thurlow, WABI TV5 News. Good luck, Castine. Well, this will be one of the final voyages for the state of Maine training ship before it's replaced. The new ship is being built at a shipyard in Philadelphia and is slated for arrival at MMA in the fall of 2024. You can follow the ship's journey by visiting the cruise blog. A link to that can be found on our website. And of course,